Level 1 1066 Classified Item Number SCP 1066 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1066 is to be kept in a document storage box large enough to contain it, without folding or rolling. It should be stored on a standard shelving unit in Storage Site-23. Any personnel with Level 2 or higher clearance wishing to run tests on SCP-1066 should speak with Dr. P. Verino. Description. SCP-1066 is a college diploma issued by the University of U dated 19 It is printed on a 0.5 by 0.3 meter sheet of parchment. No abnormalities have been found in either the ink or the parchment, and both match similar diplomas issued by U in the 19 SCP-1066 is no more resistant to damage than any other year-old piece of parchment, so care should be taken while handling it to avoid damage. Open flames in particular should be kept away from the object. When a man who is at least 17 years of age signs his name in the space labeled Graduating Student, he will disappear for 4-10 to 10 minutes and return 4 years older. The subject seems to have lived those years as a student at U between 19 and 19, graduating on the date written on the document and earned a degree in whatever subject he was thinking of while signing the document. Whether you offered classes to that subject in 19 or not. The text on SCP-1066 will change to reflect this. The subject will have no memory of the four years not directly related to his subject of study. See Addendum 1066-1 for more details. There is no effect when a woman signs her name on SCP-1066. As you did not accept women in 19, this is unsurprising. It is worth noting that approximately percent of subjects do not survive the four years. In these cases, their corpse will return with the expected amount of decay. The death rate is not consistent with that of students at U in 19. However, these results are skewed since many test subjects have been ordered to think of mimetic effects or dangerous SCP objects. SCP-1066 was recovered from the campus of U on 2000 and The administration had been offering an accelerated learning program to students, for the standard four-year tuition, plus a fee of It is unknown why nobody knows the rapid aging of some graduates. If this is a property of the object, it is yet to be discovered. The object was retrieved without casualties, and Class B amnestics were administered to the administration and all recorded graduates. It is very likely that some or most of the graduates were not recorded, but the risk of any graduates revealing the existence of SCP-1066 is low, and as such, finding them is a low-priority task. Similarities between the effects of SCP-1066 and SCP-028 have been noted. An investigation to a common origin, or whether one anomaly is an altered version of the other, is ongoing. Addendum 1066-1 Notable Test Results Name Dr. P. Verino Date 2000 and Subject D-1066-1 Information: Subject was simply instructed to sign the document. Results: The subject gained a degree in calligraphy. Review of experiment tapes indicates that the subject had been focusing intently on signing the document in his best handwriting. The subject's handwriting showed a marked improvement after the test. He had no memories of the time in which he was gone. Subject was terminated on schedule at the end of the month. Additional comments. Subject gained a tattoo of the phrase, The pen is mightier than the sword, translated into Chinese, on his left pectoral. Name Dr. P. Verino. Date 2000 and Subject D 1066 5. Information Subject was instructed to think of his favorite animal. Results 
The subject gained a degree in marine mammal biology. When questioned, the subject said that his favorite animal was the dolphin. The subject also had vivid dreams of scuba diving next to various marine mammals until he was terminated at the end of the month. Additional comments. The subject showed familiarity with scuba equipment after the test. When asked, he claimed to never have taken a scuba certification course. Name: Dr. P. Verino. Date: 2000. And Subject: D1066-7. Information: Mimetic SCP was described to the subject who was then instructed to think only of that while signing the document. Results. Subject gained degree in memetic studies. However, subject refused to communicate in any way with researchers after returning, and was terminated on schedule. Additional comments. No luck training researchers with this thing so far. Dr. P. Verino. Name. Dr. P. Verino. Date. 2000 and Subject D-1066-14 Information Subject was instructed to think of the phrase Advanced Mimetics. Subject showed above average intelligence in standard D-class screening. Results Subject returned in a vegetative state consistent with the effects of Additional Comments Subjects 9 through 13 were all instructed to think of mimetic effects and all returns showing signs of exposure to some sort of mimetic agent known to the Foundation in 19. Dr. P. Verino Name Research Assistant Date 2000 and Subject Research Assistant Information This was an unauthorized test. Research Assistant was apparently trying to gain sufficient credentials to be promoted to full researcher. Results Research Assistant returned with a degree in SCP Studies. The SCP in this case apparently is an acronym for Supercomputer Processors. He now has a knowledge of supercomputers consistent with the year 19. Additional Comments Research Assistant was demoted to Clearance Level 0 and transferred from Storage Site 23.